Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. Five FM's early morning show. You have a, a kid that said unusual words for their first words. What? What were they? Telescope and stethoscope. That's wild. And she said them very clearly too. She could say telescope and stethoscope. So why do you why do you think that was the first thing she said? Well, the way she learned them is, I would binge watch like Ancient Aliens or Untold Stories of the ER. And a lot of the times when she would catch the show with me, they were talking about, oh, we, you know, so-and-so saw this through a telescope. And, and we, in my other doctor show, they'd be like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to take my stethoscope or I listen to his chest with the stethoscope and just those things that would come up. And for whatever reason, those words intrigued her that so much that she learned them. That's, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So did it did it crush you a little bit? Well, I mean, it was a little heartbreaking, but I mean, it made sense just because that's what she heard more yeah. versus mommy and daddy. So. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't know what my first words were, um, but I do know that, that when, when kids are around, a lot of big words, they kind of just take them in. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. What are the first words your kid said, dude? Uh, my daughter, uh, 17 now, her first words that I actually got to speak and get her to speak back to me was, uh, si, senor. And she was always a very polite, you know, very nice little girl, uh, always smiles. So the first teacher, the si, senor, she would say it to everybody. Did she, uh, did she get weird responses? It, it was, it was like, wow, okay, honey. And then, you know, it was like, does she does she know any other thing? I'm like, no, she doesn't know anything else. It was just kind of a joke to start out with. Like, I, first word I wanted her to be was from another language in the time. So it was really neat to have her just start that out with si, senor. Yeah, that's, that is really cool. And I appreciate you calling in this morning, Jared. It is Y105 FM's early morning show. What are your kids' first words are unusual. More coming up in less than 15 minutes. Feel free to call 507-292-1053. In the meantime, here's how you can win Michael Buble tickets. If you're a Michael Buble fan, sit down. I should be around 79. It's almost 60 now. Hi, it's James Ravy on Y105 FM's early morning show. Heather Sturgis said, my first word was onion. That's because you have so many layers, Heather. There's a, a report out saying something that I think all of us knew. Kids who enter preschool with a large vocabulary do better in class. It was, uh, gosh, probably 15, 20 years ago in Rochester they did a big study and found that Olmstead County had kids going into uh, preschool and kindergarten with a big deficit in words. So a big effort was put on to uh, not just talk to kids more and read to them more, but just talk around them more like, like you would normally. So anyway, Crystal Young has a great one. She said on our Facebook page, my second cousin's first word was rutabaga. Rutabaga. That is so awesome. She said, my dad and stepmom would babysit her a lot, so my dad constantly was trying to get her to say it, and it was her first word. My cousin was not happy. Yeah, yeah, it's a big moment. Come on. And uh, then who was this one? This is from uh, Bridget. Bridget Burkhardt said, my son's first was car, but he said it like car. Oh, Bridget Burkhardt. Your kid's a pirate. Pi pi Pirate. R. It's Y105 FM's early morning show, a smash and grab in Sturtville, next in the Y105 FM early morning show news. Since. Several law enforcement agencies are investigating a string of smash and grab burglaries targeting Verizon wireless stores, the latest in Sturtville. Good morning, I'm James Raby. This is the Y105 FM early morning show news minute. It's going to be rainy. When? I'll tell you in 60 seconds. Friday morning around 7 a.m., someone called to report the Sturtville Verizon store's window was smashed out. A store employee reported the suspects took a blue iPhone 13 and a blue iPhone 13 Max, and since they were attached to displays, they took the displays too. See which other stores have been hit on the Y105 FM app. Also on our app this morning, man admits to murder charge for Chatfield teens overdose death. 140 mile per hour motorcycle chase on I-94, Minnesota captured whoop, I-94, I-494 captured by MinDot cameras. And Minnesota expands access to school lunch and the rabies shot. Couple gets frisky during an A's game. The Oakland, California police are looking for a couple 
that everyone says got a little too much into each other and had a tickle fight in the nosebleed seats on Sunday. Yeah, there's surveillance video, but police say they're looking for a man or a woman who are bragging about hitting a home run. Y105 FM weather for today, sunny and 79. Just a beautiful day. Tonight, clear and 60. And then tomorrow, there's a decent chance of rain. It'll start out sunny. And then we'll have rain and thunderstorms after 11 o'clock with a high around 80. Again, for today, sunny and 79. It is 62 and adventures in dating with our very own Keisha in less than 15 minutes on the Y105 FM early morning show. And show. My name is James Raby, just ahead of the 8 a.m. all music hour. It's time for Adventures in Dating with Keisha. This is a single mom in Rochester, and she has had some very, very fun, weird, and unusual experiences as she does the whole dating online thing. Hi, Kesha. Good morning. Keisha. Good morning. Sorry, not Kesha. You are not. You are not Kate Kesha. You're not. I know that. It's all good. I mean, I wish I was Kesha. She has some pretty good songs. She She does. And one of them had James Vanderbeek in it, shooting lasers out of unicorn heads. So that's <laughs> that's a thing right there for me. Right? That's also a really good song. So um, what is our adventure in dating this time, Keisha? So this one is just, I get a lot of people that are just plain mean. Like, they don't even try to make an effort to be nice. They reach out to just be mean. And that's just not very kind. No. Um, but this person, so... Literally, the only thing he said, he didn't even say hello. On my profile, I am a bigger woman, so I have a full body picture um, so that people know that I'm a bigger woman because for some men, that's an issue. Right. And this person reaches out, and all he says is, um, get your fat butt to the gym. Wow. And I said, excuse excuse me, I work out three days a week. And he said, you wouldn't know it from looking at your picture. Wow. He said, get your fat butt to the gym and eat a salad every once in a while. Jeez Louise. Why do people I troll? Know. That's amazing. Right? Well, and so supposedly there's this like, there's this new trend. I think it's called negging. And it's where like, you're supposed to say something negative to like manipulate them into like, feelings for you which i don't think it actually works wow but i just you know it's like why even bother to reach out to me if i'm not your if i'm not your match if i'm not a good fit for you just move on you know i'm i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that maybe he's never actually talked to a human woman before probably not you know um and also boy with this guy you scratch the surface and all you get is a little more surface. Yeah. yeah so needless to say, I didn't engage in a conversation with him anymore. I blocked him and I was like, nope, we're done. No, and, and trolls like that have a little community. We call them incels and they're on Twitter. That's where you belong, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. And I mean, I like to troll. I like to troll men, but I usually wait for them to say something that's like, I wait for them to say something first where I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to say something here. Right. Um, you know, I don't, I don't just like usually walk into a dating profile and just say something rude right off the bat. Well, and it's, and it makes, makes one wonder uh, if they could find a sweetie pie, would that sweetie pie put up with them for long? When you talked about being negative to try and get attention, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm using the greatest source ever here. And that would be, um, I, I believe it's Criminal Minds, the TV show. Mm -hmm. This is a yep. valid scientific source. Um, they were they were after a guy once, and they ran into a guy who taught you how to hit on women. And one of his things was be really nice, and then say, "Oh, you are really great looking on your hair," eh, but otherwise you look fantastic. And the idea is that if they were interested in you, they will then touch their hair and try and fix it to make themselves more appealing to you. I don't know how that works. Maybe it does. I mean, getting gets, getting women to try and look better for you, but I can't imagine yeah. any woman in her in her right mind saying, "Oh, you're the guy I want to hang out with." Right. I mean, I'm confident in who I am and what I look like. So if some guy told me that, I'd be like, "Nope, get out of my life. I don't need you telling me what to do or what to wear or what my hair should look like." That makes me think of the '80s song by Billy Ocean, but in reverse. 
No, no, no. Get out of my car. Get out of my dreams. Get off my app. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you, you, what? <laughs> Get out of my yeah. car. <laughs> wow. Well, so if you're if you're a dude listening and you're thinking, hey, that's not nice to say that he has never even felt the the, the warm touch of a woman's hand. That, that's not mean to me to say because he was mean to her. So you can yeah. just put that sorry in a sack, buddy. And thank you for another exciting adventure in dating, Keisha. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Have a good morning. It is Y one hundred five FM's early morning show. Let's get to that eight AM all. Another 8 a.m. All Music Hour kicks off tomorrow morning just before 8 o'clock here. And why want a 5 FM's early morning show? I want to dig into a story here that I saw on our uh, on our app. And to do that, I have our new news guy, TJ, here. Hi, TJ. Hi, James. How do you say your last name? Uh, Leverance. Leverance. A lot okay. of E's, yeah. TJ Leverance is here in the studio. Uh, welcome to Rochester. Yeah, thank well, you. Welcome to uh, KRFC AM is your main station. I'm loving it here. And, well, it's a great place. Yes. And it doesn't hurt that your sweetie pie's around. Yeah, that helps. That does Big help. help, yeah. So I just saw the story about 20 shots fired during that standoff by the by the guy. What's the story? What is the – What can you just kind of fill us in on the yeah, final so, story? So it started as, as essentially a welfare check. Um, this individual was uh, reportedly making suicidal comments, talking about suicide by cop. Basically, so Goodhue County Sheriff's deputy responds, talks with them, not really getting anywhere. They bring in the SWAT from Goodhue County, Olmstead County as well. And they move in after talking after this has been going on for roughly eight hours. And I mean, they throw chemicals in there, didn't specify what kind. They had a flashbang as well. And that's when the shots rang out. Now, one of the shots struck an armored vehicle. It doesn't really say what the other ones did or where they went. He was talking right. about it during the negotiation, shooting shots in the air, shooting shots here and there. But um, a house and an armored vehicle struck by gunfire. That's what we know to this point. And now he's being charged. Now he's being charged. Four felonies, second degree assault, assault, first degree assault of a police officer, committing a crime while wearing uh, body armor, which apparently is a felony. Did, did not, not know, know that. It. So keep that in mind, I guess. And... Uh, a terroristic threat. So, I mean, a very serious situation that right. thankfully resulted in no one being hurt. Which is which is amazing yeah. with all those shots being fired by the guy. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he had an AR-15. He said he had an AR-15. He said he had a Glock. Uh, they found a couple of uh, pistol magazines on him when they arrested him. So, um, yeah, just, just a wild story in a, in a little town like Pine Island on a Saturday. And, and not officially in Goodhue County. Yes, that's it's on the edge of Olmstead County. That's the other thing. Yes, that's a very good point you bring up because Pine Island split, but the county line runs right through Pine Island. So that's why it's Olmstead County prosecuting this, not Goodhue County. I think that's interesting. And I, I, I want to give a shout out to the law enforcement around here. Almost, I think almost everyone's been trained CIT, Crisis Intervention Training. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to be on the board of NAMI, and we did a lot of that stuff. Not me personally. I had nothing to do with it personally. But it really helps de-escalate and try to work with someone. So I'm really proud of our law enforcement around here because they really understand so much more about helping people. And if they could not get this guy to come to terms in eight hours, I, I, I have to say the fact that he's alive means that they did something so right that he wanted to stay alive, and they kept him alive. Yeah, and, and even during the negotiations, they were saying, hey, let's call your friends. Let's get some right. people you know to talk to you. And um, he just didn't budge. But again, it's just, it, as you said, it's a testament to the job they did to, to get him out of there and, yeah. and make sure he's alive and, and there were no injuries. So, All right, well, thanks for the rundown, man. You I bet. appreciate it. Absolutely. That is TJ Leverance. He is our new news guy here on... Well, the whole town Snyder Square Media Station. But this, specifically, you know is Y105 FM. If you're a Michael Buble fan, sip snickerdoodle cookies and a celebrity that darn well ought to know better. Hi, it's James Raby. It's Y105 FM's early morning show. We're doing Raby shots. And the first one goes out to uh, the customer at a tropical smoothie cafe in Fredericksburg, Virginia. She was unhappy with her smoothie, so she complained to employees. But they didn't satisfy her, so she threw four smoothies at them. Four smoothies at them. What a waste. But even bigger waste, 14 snickerdoodle cookies gave their lives so she could throw them at people. And she got arrested and all that jazz. But really, four smoothies and 14 snickerdoodle cookies. And then Gary Busey, old school actor, Always been kind of an unusual cat. He was at the Monster Mania convention a little while ago. 
and he grabbed several women's butts and tried to undo one woman's bra, probably that behind the back thing. <laughs> Look at me, I'm in school. What, what, you're upset? The inappropriate behavior took place at the Doubletree Hotel, and Gary attempted to apologize to the women, but they weren't having it. Like, what are you talking about? You're sorry you did it? I don't think you're sorry, because if you were sorry, you wouldn't have done it. What you are is sorry. Sorry, sack. Well, really sorry. You can stuff your sorries in a sack, buster. Gary later told uh, TMZ, oh, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. But you apologized to him. So, yeah, something happened. And it's called... Do do do. Uh, but repercussions. <laughs> That's not the real word I wanted. I can't think of it now. But anyway, it is Y one hundred five FM's early morning show. Don't be gross, like Gary Busey, who's all right. He's he has a history of being gross, but it's twenty twenty two, and now you can't say, "Oh, I didn't know women didn't like having their butts pawed and their bras undone." I once knew a river. This is a guy who uh, traveled around the country doing rib contests. And one time he was in the studio with Corey Jensen and me in Fargo. And he had his hand on her back and he was running along her bra line. And she said, you need to stop live on the air. You need to stop touching my bra. Stop touching me. The guy was super embarrassed, then super angry. How dare you call me out on the air? Uh, wh- what? How about, how about, except a little responsibility here, how dare you touch her inappropriately? Why are you being gross, man? Oh, it's Y105 FM's early morning show. If you're a Michael Buble fan, hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM early morning show radio on demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.